Hello, welcome back to the Seven Sisters. We are here in the sewers, uh, outside Bassos. We can still hear Genevieve pacing and moaning around in that turbine room. I am still trying to find a way across town to the doctors. Uh, and the sewers seems a good option. So, I'm gonna keep going. Wade through some disgusting water. And uh, see where this gets us. This door is locked, it's impossible we can go there. Let's just see how far the sewers go. Oh. Hey, is this the same bit of sewers we had before? It is. Alright, uh, so now we actually have a way around from uh, the place where we kept jumping in the water. That's actually really useful. I like that. Good. Let's do the same over here. Ugh, Garrett. see where this goes. So thank you very much Judge Bauer for uh... Where is the guard there? For leaving your window unlocked so we could break in, steal some of your gold and uh, more importantly get access to the sewers through your cellar. What the hell? What the hell is going on there? Uh, I think we need to check this out. Oh. Weaponsmith. We need to go for a walk and then just bash some iron. This is not a place to hide. Uh, bad idea, Garrett. Okay, he wasn't coming back down just yet. There we are. This is a dark spot. I don't want to have to waste a water because I only have a few of them. Oh, okay, actually, okay. <coughs> Ow. What the? I'm just quenching it. It was hot. Uh, I suppose technically I'm a thief. I was stealing a sword, but, uh, ouch. Maybe I should have tried to use, uh, tongs or something, if there were any. Uh, Let's eat some cheese and I've got some bread somewhere as well from the baker. Oh, I've got some carrots. Let's hope this can always can heal my uh, burns. Got some fresh carrot slices and fresh pencil and mold. Oh, coming this way it sounds like. No? Yes? I might have to knock him on the head just for uh, Safety to explore the rest of his house. I thought the weaponsmith was. Oh, it was east, yeah. Whatever it is on the anvil, it's not tongs that I could pick up to manipulate this orbit. Ah, okay, you heard me again, or saw me, or something. Don't come this way. No. That'll do. Thanks for leaning conveniently forward. You just fell asleep on the job. At least you were safely away from your uh, furnace here, or whatever you call it. Forge. Oh. It's not a weapon I can use and it hurts me every time I pick it up even after it's been sitting in the water. Great. Let's eat this donut and hope it heals me. Oh, I can't eat it. It's a 
Got some other purpose. Okay. Where's the weaponsmith? Uh, this is the weaponsmith. I mean, where's the uh, healing potion smith? Yeah, that's more like it. Shame about the burns. Ooh, two more rope arrows. I like that. Flash bombs, yes. Oh, I should have taken that sword. Look at that. Probably uh, blunt. Probably just for display. Ah, nice daggers. Garrett's not a dagger man, though. He likes a full length sword. It's uh, much better. Alright, so I can actually open this, this front door, can I? I couldn't get into escape from the outside, but maybe I could get out from the inside. Or maybe he has something of value in his yard. Ah, look at that. I can get out, but I don't want to. I want to go back to the sewers. Let's try to burning ourselves on unaccountably hot swords. Uh, not going to not pick it up again. Yeah, it makes sense it was hot there, but uh, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Garrett, doofus. Alright, so far the uh, sewers hasn't gotten us anywhere new. Let's hope that's about to change. Please open away from me. What? I can't open the door at all. Wait, so this whole sewer expedition has been a waste of time? I mean, okay, it got me a sword. This isn't a wooden door I can break down, is it? Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take my frustration out on some crates. Or barrels. No, oh, they don't break. They don't break. Uh, everything is made too strong around here. Swim, swim, swim. That's not a door. That's not a door. Alright, well, tell you what. So maybe the sewers is kind of pointless. But, uh. There's nothing out here, right? But uh, I have three rope arrows now. Perhaps I can actually get somewhere else on the streets. Oh, that button. Oh no, it was top button. Don't need it. Okay. So we can get back out. Yeah. It's safe to drop down to street level. I don't know. Try dropping onto this sign and then to the street. Alright. This balcony on this side looks interesting, even if that one doesn't. Let's see if we can get to it. I'm annoyed about uh, taking that sword damage the second time though, because. Uh, Can I make the jump? I do see a door handle. Probably can't make the jump. Let's try it. Well, sort of, maybe he could have made the jump, but the mantling didn't work. Come on, Garrett, you can do this. Yeah! Just didn't hurt yourself that time. Right, let's try it a little higher up. So we can climb a bit higher up. Although, that's just going to mean a oh, wrong route. That's just going to mean uh, it's going to be hard to get our arrow back, isn't it? Okay. Well, I didn't see a door handle. Oh, it doesn't open. 
Brilliant, brilliant work, Garrett. You're killing yourself for nothing. At least if you're gonna kill yourself, it should be for a good cause, you know? Ah. Couldn't open you, right? Yeah, not at all. All right, let's look at that gate, the gate that we couldn't get past over here. Is there any wooden... Actually, let's also check this dead end. I've never actually looked up at the ceiling to see if there's maybe a... Oh, this is the second floor, right? Yeah, I did come in here. And there's no sign of secret doors or anything. Or other ways out, so yeah. This isn't going to get me anywhere. Alright. Anywhere to use my neuro barrows and little health. Oh, hang on, hang on. This was new. Didn't see this before, but it doesn't open, okay. Right. So much for that. Let's head back towards the police station. Maybe my rope barrows will be of use there somewhere. You never know. Stiff dead cat snake oil. Just the brand I want. Well, I could get up on top of the police station. That is, that is something. It's definitely something. And I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, wish me luck dealing with the poison blue. I'm not at the best. Come on. No! Uh. Ow! Uh. Ow! Oh, I don't need another rope. God, you guys are so on edge. One little pop over the head and you're trying to murder me. It's like you're medieval. I'm supposed to be civilized now. Hey, look. Let's see if an arrow is up. Ah, an arrow will do nothing for me. Certainly won't improve my mood. Well, at least my escape route was clear that time. And not accidentally falling down a... Uh, Not accidentally falling down a uh, ladder wasn't my plan. Well, that's bad. Can I even climb that? Yes. Let's clean that one up. When he comes down, he'll patrol into that left one, then over to the right one, and, and hopefully, as he goes to the right one, I'll have a chance to get behind him. That's the theory. Some waiting required. Man, I hate waiting. Wait, he's gonna be on edge with his spidey sense, isn't he? There's no shadow. Badly. <coughs> no! Ah, well, I almost fell to my death. I was. <laughs> dear, dear. Yeah, it's really in top form tonight. It must be starting to get the blade himself. <laughs> oh, 
Got him. Alright. Stay here out of the way. Phew. Alright, let's collect my rope. Can I douse that? No, of course not. So, finally, we're on the right side of the town to go to the doctor's house. It's just right there. It only took an hour and 15 minutes. So we do have an option first, of course, to loot the police station, you know. Sounds like the sort of challenge Garrett would not want to miss. There's a guard that patrols up through here. Some of the time. But where, when and where, I don't know. Saw him through the windows. Eleven ten. The body of the guardian who was on duty at Haven's sewers was found tonight, trapped behind the bars of the gate under the abandoned Hammerite complex adjacent to the cathedral. The builder only knows what poor Forrest was doing there. The gate lever seems to be broken. We'll have to call the blacksmith tomorrow in order to retrieve the corpse. Also, Nils, one of the Higgins, is missing. There's probably no need to worry. He was at loggerheads with his wife, so maybe he decided to leave for good this time. Uh, forest. Uh, under the abandoned Hammerite complex. Okay. Adjacent to the cathedral. Forest is up here somewhere. Who has the key to sewer maintenance area number two? Who am I hearing out on the streets? Why am I hearing people out on the streets out here? Suspicious. I'm hearing footsteps for guards that shouldn't be there. Oh, he's alright. Who do I hear out here? Quiet, Dolly! Dolly want a donut? Dolly want a donut? No, Dolly wants to hit me. Just trying to feed you. Yeah, Garrett's not an animal person. Oh shit. Well, let's say what's that you got in the cage, but it's just a plate. Right. Well, the good thing about our uh, expedition to the police station is. There's no one here. I don't know what you thought you saw. Out about guy running around in here. You mad sack. Yeah, Damn. white. You're talking to the Where monkey. Go. Oh. Shouldn't talk to the monkey. Because the monkey doesn't want to hear. Right, so the one who's going into the uh, police station there. No. Very tempted. So here I've got the same. I don't know what's. I don't know really what's up with the bone arrow. Something seems weird from the normal one, but I can't figure out what. Uh, I guess I'll have to wait and see. I'm just waiting for this guy to come out of the police station again. Oh, I see another guard in the distance. Well, never mind. Let's go back in and finish our exploration. Oh, 
here he is. Sleep. Fewer guards wandering the streets, the better. Maybe not for... Well, actually for everyone, since you're threatening to kill random civilians. Who's doing that whistling? Who can I hear whistling? Oh, uh, in the dungeons underneath. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What would I got? Cell number one, Burke, thief and vagabond. Caught with an accomplice, he was moving a woman's corpse hidden in a large sack. He tried to defend himself, insisting that he was not the one to have killed the woman, but rather that he found her when she was already dead. He claims he was bringing her to Dr. Knox for his experiments. The accomplice, who is known as Hare, was able to run away. He will be transferred to the city jail tomorrow in the morning after Dr. Knox examines him. Cell number three. An unknown woman arrested while wandering in Canal Road in breach of the curfew. She insists that she is the reincarnation of a Lady Rowena, but none of us have ever heard about this lady. Anyway, the woman seems quite insane. She's to be moved to the asylum in the city. Cell number five. Wally, strolling player, arrested with his monkey while he was preparing a show in the public square despite the curfew. In his defense, he says that he can't read. Despite this, he will be kept in jail for the standard three days. What about his monkey? Can you at least give it a gag or something? So, the guard is always patrolling down here then. What was that noise? God, I have patrolling down here was no doubt the one that I just uh, knocked out. Hey, Wally. Or are you Burke? Oh, you're Wally. Your monkey's screaming. Can you do anything about it? I'll let you out if you can shut it up. What? It is indeed Lady Rowena. Well, what do you know? Oh yes, couldn't you see me? You can't see me, huh? Anything in these empty cells? No, alright. Good, right. Oh, apples, I'll eat those. One hit point's better than none. I have to go now, Walter. I couldn't make him say where he put the key for the cash box. He said it was lost, but I don't believe him. Please try to convince him with your usual methods. We should give him back the cash box tomorrow when he's released. After all, we kept hanging at him and his monkey for three days. We deserve a little reward. By the way, I saw your brother Nicholas going into the sewer maintenance area today, but he never came out. He hadn't opened the gate either, and the boat's still there. I hope that nothing bad befell him. We can't pick it up yet. Nope. Uh, what do you bet the monkey's got the key, huh? Wally! Where's your key? Give you a donut if you tell me where your key is. No? Let's go check on the monkey again. Nah, uh, wrong door. This way. On top of the monkey cart. Nope. How about that? Do you want a donut? Yay, thanks. Thanks, Dolly. God, that monkey. At least I shut him up. Right, Wally, I'm sorry, but your takings have been confiscated by the law. Yeah, Paltrow, too. I mean, when I say the law, I mean obviously me. Alrighty. Here we are in the main square. There's lots to go. Oh, what? Pinky, a baby Burke has gone missing. Reward of 300 if he is found alive. Contact Delson's widow in Oaks Square. God, why do you got a pet baby Burke? 
Is that the reason you're a widow, huh? What are the other notices? Uh, that's one we already read. What about this? I want the for the builders team nearest recruiting station. Brother, it's time to oil thy gears and sign to our group of pioneers. See the glory of our scheme. Join us. Join the builders team. Wow, well, Karis, your recruitment posters are getting uh, just a little uh, tacky. You should choose a different PR firm. Um, right, let's visit the doctor. Mind just walking around in here. Oh, <gasps> healing! <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, well, is that what Garrett's insides look like? I'll definitely take that healing potion. No, no complaints. Has it finished? Doing a little better now after our uh, unfortunate uh, incident at the forge. Do you hear Basso? No. What was that? <coughs> Dr. Knox! <coughs> Are you dead or just unconscious? What's your letter here say? Mechanists? But why? Why? They burst in there while we were speaking. Two of them. They started striking us wildly with their maces. I hit the ground and I feigned death. Malthus was wounded too, but he managed to rush through the back door. Maybe he took that shelter in the cathedral. They dragged Basso away with them. I heard one of them saying, That Taffer managed to escape. Maya will be furious. The old priest was what they, want, was what they wanted then. But why? I dragged myself up to here, but I don't know I have much time left. If I die, that poor woman under there will die too. I must go and... Your objective. Something odd has happened. Find Dr. Knox's and Malthus's journal to learn more. Alright. Uh... What does this open? So this is where your experiment's happening, is it? I'll check that in a minute. Let's finish, uh... Oh, I can't go there. Alright, finished. That was quick. So I guess that sound effect that played was because I was supposed to be seeing the doctor's body, but I stopped here and was just seeing nothing. Oh well, fair enough. Triggered a moment too soon, really. Mixture. Careful. Do we have any quick lime? Oh, it's all acidic mixture. What do we got here? <coughs> Ugh. Fumes. Damn it, I just got the help back. Hey, Bony, what's up? Microscope. Oh, is this a journal? 913. I told Burke and Hare that I don't need any other corpses. Those duo were starting to worry me. How is it possible that so many people could die all of a sudden? I'm starting to, to suspect that. But no, I don't even want to think it. It would be horrible. Burke started, Burke started whining. He said he needs my money, that his children would have died of hunger and that it would be my fault. He said he will always have a guilty conscience for those poor dead people who were disturbed in their eternal sleep. I'm sure he will always be faithful to me and that he will never reveal our secrets. What a bastard. As if I didn't as if I didn't know that he does not have any children, and that he spends the money I give him on wine and prostitutes. Even if it was clear blackmail, I still had to make a deal. I told him that I would take only one dead body in a month from now, but that I would pay double for it. Ten one. Since this epidemic broke out, I have lost interest in everything else. My biggest ambition is to study this illness up close and to possibly find a cure or a vaccine. Unfortunately, I was only able to have two corpses at my disposal. But they had not died because of the illness. 
The fact is, in spite of the law which forbids it, the infected, if found, are killed immediately. This means that there are very few possibilities of having a live subject. People are scared and do not confide in me. They prefer to buy amulets and strange potions from that self-aggrandizing magician at the end of the street. Fear has a powerful effect on people. Ignorance and superstition are getting the better of them. It seems like society has taken a step back of about a hundred years. I saw with my own eyes garlic hung up to windows and protective amulets on people's necks. The disease strikes without discriminating against age, sex or social class. Strangely, not a single case of the epidemic has been reported for any pagan. This is certainly a cause for concern, since the people are now suspecting them. Up until now, it has been impossible to ascertain how the contagion is propagated. The symptoms and reactions simply occur all of a sudden. Sorry, apologies for the slow reading, but my throat is uh, giving out. There we are. A couple of swallows of tea will help. 10-4. Finally, I have a live subject that I can study. Today, the parents of a young woman, Alina, came to my study. The girl has been struck by the disease and they begged me to try to cure her. Transporting her to the laboratory was not easy. Alina seems to, to, seems to have developed incredible strength, and she's very aggressive. Took, it took three people to detain her. Tomorrow I will perform the first analysis. I am so excited that I do not know if I will be able to sleep tonight. 10-5. The first examination was very difficult. The subject is aggressive and very agitated. I managed to seize her arm through the bars and give her a powerful anaesthetic that only had the effect of a mild sedative. The girl has strange symptoms, ashen complexion, blood emission from the eyes, nose and from the mouth, rigidity of the articulations, and the aforementioned aggressiveness. Aside from these, she does not seem to be affected with any other pathologies. It seems to be just like a case of rabies which is common among dogs. Tomorrow I'll attempt to administer an antidote. I consider it the only possible solution at the moment. 10-8. After three days there hasn't been any improvement. Alina keeps refusing food and seems unable to sleep. The anaesthetic I give her in increasing doses is becoming less effective. Furthermore, the girl seems to have regressed to an animal state without even a glimmer of intelligence. For instance, she could easily stretch an arm beyond the bars and move the lever which opens the gate, but she seems completely unable to do so. Today, while running errands, I ran into the magician. I believe Malthus is his name. He hesitated for a moment, as though he wanted to tell me something. Then he turned his back and walked away. Strange man. I believe he was a priest of the Hammerites before those tragic events occurred. But now he is just a charlatan who takes advantage of people's stupidity. 10-9. I never expected this visit to take place. Late this evening, Malthus came knocking at my door. He looked very suspicious. He told me a long story of prophe prophecies, spells, of the coming of the realm of chaos, of the Seven Sisters. Frankly, I can hardly remember all that he said. In short, his theory is that this plague is not an illness, but rather a wicked spell that was cast in order to precipitate the world into chaos. According to him, some holy water is all that is needed to cure the infected ones. Still, it would be necessary to, to neutralize the Seven Sisters to avert the disaster. Since he left, I have been gazing at the charming little blue bottle he left on the table. Malthus said that its content could cure two or more people, but being an extremely volatile substance, it must be used within a few seconds. Perhaps the old priest has simply gone senile, and yet, if his theory were true, I could try the cure immediately on Alina. But if the water works, I would be upset with myself for not waiting. Maybe I could have also cured someone else with it. At last, I have decided. I shall lock the vial in the safe, and I'll wait a day or two. 10-11. I must hurry. A young man called Basso has come to me. His wife has been infected, and he wants my help. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. I'll finally be able to verify the effectiveness of the miraculous potion. I promised Malthus that I would let him know the results so we will stop by his house before going to take Basso's wife. Well, okay. So there is a cure. Holy water, huh? Yeah, I know, huh? I'm not going to let you out just now, that would be a bit of a mistake. Alright, uh, let's see where this door goes. 
It's more sewers or dungeons? Feels very cellar. Feels very dungeon like. Oh, what is this? Up the close and down the stairs in the house with Burke and Hare. Burke's the butcher, Hare's the thief, knocks the boy who buys the beef. Somebody come in? Well, somebody knows their secret and is scrolling it on the walls. Oh! Wait, before I do that. Oh, the footsteps I'm hearing are out here. Okay, you part of town. A desecrated Hammerite chapel? Or just an old Hammerite place that uh, has fallen into disuse? Are we? Yeah, we'll come back to the main map, Dr. Knox, East and maybe we're underneath the samurai complex, so the forest was supposed to be down here. It was forest and skis. Or was he at the other sewer station? There is a boat here, but this isn't sewer maintenance, is it? No signs, what I can see. And that's no door. Alright, let's see where this ladder takes me. This was must be the magician's place. I didn't realize they were connected so closely to the uh, to the doctors. Vials of potion on the floor, a crystal ball, a mortar and pestle, a bunch of books. Just want to sleep. This brings us back out to the street. Uh, near the cathedral, okay. I'll check upstairs in a minute. What have we got through here? Oh, someone's definitely smashed their way down here and broken their display case. And left the front door open. Still want everything of value too, what a shame. If there was anything of value. I was looking back south again. Alright, let's just close the door so uh, whoever's out there doesn't see me destroying the banner. No, oh, it doesn't go. Huh. Shame. Oh, here's a love potion. Not what I need right now. Right, upstairs. Alright, let's check out what's upstairs. The bedroom. Uh, some money. Oh, no, don't close that. Take the money instead. And I guess this must be Malthus's diary. Let's see what he has to say. 10-8. I will never forget that horrible night. They were intent on killing us. They were dressed up as brigands, but I recognized one of them. It was Brother Edgar, that renegade who had joined the ranks of the mechanists. They killed my brothers one by one, and when the few survivors took shelter in the crypt, they threw some mines to drive them out. They were buried alive. When I realized that they would have slaughtered us all, I was frozen in fear. Cowardice got the better of me, so I ran to hide in the attic of the sacristy. No one came to help us, not even the city watch. That's when I realized that they're working hand in hand with the mechanists. The next morning I did not dare say anything and was feared for my life. Shortly thereafter I opened this little shop and lowered myself to selling magic potions and love filters. May the builder forgive me. I should have died alongside my brothers. 
Yet just to survive, I have become a quack who pretends to see the future in a cheap crystal ball. Perhaps I will finally have the opportunity to redeem myself. I am the only one who knows the prophecy of the Seven Sisters, and I know that they are at the source of the plague. It is all described in one of Felicius's prophecies books. It also describes how to defeat the sisters. Now I am old and my memory is fading. I should find the book and read it again, but it is in the library of the complex which has been closed. The only way in is to pass through the crypt, but only poor, poor Brother Martino had the key. I will go back to the cathedral to look for it tomorrow. 10-9. I have gone to the cathedral, and unfortunately the situation is much more complicated than I thought. I will never manage to retrieve it by myself. The only person who can help me is Dr. Knox, but I must earn his trust first. I know that he is sheltering a diseased citizen, so I will bring him the only holy water vial that I have. After he has tested its effectiveness, he will surely help me. I will go see him tonight. Well, we've read the journals. Uh, what's our new objective? Find and read the Prophecies of Thelesius, Volume 2. You'd better start by heading to the cathedral. I'm sure that's not going to end our... Uh, we're going to have more to do after reading the prophecies, learning about the Seven Sisters and what they're all on about. What's Does he hide anything in the, this uh, void above his rafters, I wonder? I would. Apparently he doesn't. Shame. Uh, and that mention of the Holy Water Bar reminds me, I didn't... I don't have a holy water vial. I didn't uh, get it from the doctor's safe. I should go back to the doctor's. I'll see if I can find a holy water vial and see if I can find the safe and find his holy water vial. Uh, that's the street, isn't it? Right, where am I on the map? Do I know? Martha says. So uh, I'm looking out to the north there, I guess. Yeah, okay, so Malthus is going to make a good uh, throughway from uh, the East End streets to the other parts of the streets. That's good, because I didn't really have an easy way through there before. Oh, I suppose the police station. Oh, I want the lower ladder, not the upper ladder. Thank you. Alright, we're just going to run back to the doctors briefly. Well, I guess that explains why he has some uh, hammerite paraphernalia here, because he's an ex-hammerite. I haven't explored what's uh, possible out that way either. Out oh, past the boats. Uh, the doctor's cellar. This is, would he safe be in the? Would he safe be in the cellar? Oh yes. Look. That would be the doctor's safe. I don't know how I missed that before. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing everything here. Holy water, one vial. Now the question is, uh, how do we use it? Do we use holy water arrows on these people? Does using the vial do it? I only got eight water arrows. If it's holy water vial, uh, if it's holy water arrows, then, you know, I've got 30 seconds to do it, and I'm not going to be able to get more than just her at once. Um, I kind of feel a responsibility to go save Genevieve first. Where are we? Doctors, doctors. So let's just note that there's a victim there that we have to try and rescue. Oh, shite. <laughs> I fell halfway through the uh, platform there. So, uh, I think Dr. Knox might be dead. Should be unfortunate. So 
ich von da. Was ist. Rucksack von da? Yes, also. Äh, okay, well, not the other one in the police station. Let's quickly both go back and test this QL on Genevieve because of all the people. She's the first one that we have have to cure, I think. I don't know if he's dead. Uh, but if he's not, maybe I can test it on him too in 30 seconds. That's a, oh, I locked the front door again. I can get you a bit of follow you back, probably. Seeing as she's so aggressive. Genevieve. Hello. You like to go for walkies? Walkies? Nice walkies. Where's our holy water vial? Quick, 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 quick. Yep. Is he cure? Jared, you're here. No, he I, doesn't. When did you get here? I, I don't remember. I don't remember anything since. Garrett, has something happened? Yes. Oh, this is a bad idea. Now she's gonna be standing on the street. No, she's not. She's gonna go back. Need the shop. Well, I can't cure him. He's quite dead. That's unfortunate. Which means this optional objective: heal all the plague citizens. Oh, all that you can. I guess he probably doesn't count then. Anyway, I've uh, wasted one of my Hollywood arrows, so that's a shame. Well, welcome back, Genevieve. Uh, heal at least four other places, and well, I know where two of them are. That's actually my, the only one on my map. There was one here in Old Gate close. Guys, not enough room. Let's just write it right here. Victim. You didn't misspell it. That's fine. Alright, well, Genevieve, I'm going to lock the shop door again for safety. I'm hoping that nobody comes to hassle you there. When I find Basso, at least he'll be uh, glad to hear that. You're okay. But if only we knew it, that all it took was holy water. That would be easy. There should be lots of holy water at the cathedral, right? Right? Oh, I haven't actually been out this way, have I? There's still guards. I know, I almost just walked into them. Maybe I should do something about them. It's not dark. Oh, it's a magician's shop. Yeah, it does seem peaceful enough now, doesn't it? Turns around by the lamppost, right? Alright. Is it dark enough? Yeah, it's dark enough here. At least if I crouch. Check out what's up with that signboard as well. For all of us, it's just glaive is love potions, no doubt. <laughs> Nothing. Let's take him well out of the way. Find a dark spot. Well, how about behind this little uh, cart? here, in fact. Did you actually see it? So that was Walter, and this was Laura. 
Like the fact they've named all of them, but um, the only downside to it is normally you get uh, unconscious body or unconscious person or whatever as one label and corpse as the label if they're dead. When they're named like this, they don't get that override. Hello, that's the way back down to underneath Malthus's and the doctors, okay. So, without that override, I can't always tell if someone's alive or dead. Once they're lying down, what do we got? New from the Far East lands of Viagra. Various potions, special price, only 10 coppers. Strength potion. Love potion. Oblivion potion. Strength potion. Love potion. Well, it's all just coloured water, isn't it? Well, if I need them, I'm gonna have to go fish them out of the canal. Yeah, yeah. Charlotte in there. Well, there's possibly somewhere to explore in the water there. Uh, so my new objective is to head to the cathedral, right? Yep. Map. Cathedral is northwest. I think it was Mechanist's place. I'll have to go there eventually, I suppose. Cathedral's up here. And there's a Hammerite Cotec complex. Um, where we can find forest. Forest's body, at least. Right, that's actually not far away. That's just across the street on the other side of Malthus's. Let's explore this bit of water first, because it's here, and I just want to see where it goes. And uh, there's my handiwork. Or rather, Malthus's handiwork thrown into here by my hand. Oh! Uh, I will definitely take more water arrows. The bridge. And a street sign. Stone bridge. Well, I mean, yes. And a ladder that leads out of the water here. Up to a roof, I think, or a balcony. Let's go. Let's take a look. Haven't been to this part of town yet. Guards, there's people having a nice private party there, dancing around, waving swords. All right, what's up here? There's nobody up here. It's just a crate. Okay, where are we? Stonebridge. Uh, yeah, this map is awkward. Okay, we're here. That's where the party is. We're up on this spot. It's behind the dancing barrack. Minerva's place in the public library. Near the mechanists. Hmm. Odd noises. Noisy floors. Hmm, maybe it was rats. So rats yeah. would be a bit of meat down here. Rats would be a bit of meat. Oh, there's wine. Say again? Apparently that was a secret. Sorry, ma'am. You don't. <laughs> Luckily for you, it wasn't nothing. All right, that's the mechanist's place. Uh, no question. Have another uh, sign there for carnival stuff, I suppose. But I don't have an easy way down here that isn't into the water, so. Does this window open? Oh, don't see me, right? Who goes there? Nobody. <laughs> Alright, we'll try to avoid the Mechanist complex for now. I'm sure it'll become relevant later. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, I hear another victim around here. 
uh, possibly the same one. Yeah, probably the same one. Just wandering up and down here. So that would be the spot. Now, is there a way out of the water over here? No, there's a big gate. Alright, so it's kind of a dead end. Not really looking for a way out into the Hammerite place, but just to get a sense of. Oh, okay, we've got a ladder here. Alright. There's a ladder. Is that an L? Why does that not look like an L? Because I'm hitting semicolon and colon. Uh, and there's a ladder there. Ways out of this canal. I might knock this guy on the head since that's kind of where I want to explore next. Oops. Don't tell me that. What alerted him? <laughs> it did, but uh, fortunately they gave up pretty quickly. Thought there was something there. Oh, he walks into the passageway. Okay. And then what? Keeps going. Can I find a shadow? No, he's coming back. Stops in the archway. Don't know which way the face is. I should have observed him from up there, shouldn't I? See anything? Oh dear, there's someone else here. All right, good, good pencil darkness though. All right, um, I think this is actually the little. Where are we? We're here. This is actually part of my original plan to come up this way to get to the east end, but uh, I didn't have to once I had rope arrows. So there's. Something I like about the design of the city area is uh, what I didn't like initially was how few. Why are you eight legged freaks? What I didn't like initially was how few uh, places I could go and how I was initially just getting stuck, just looping around here, unable to get anywhere, and the canals here were a dead end. Um, I mean, the only way forward was the police station. The only way to get to the police station was to discover the rope arrow, as far as I could see. I mean, this seemed a complete dead end uh, until. Yeah, until I got through the police station, I couldn't actually get anywhere else here. I couldn't get to the sewers. Or I could get to the sewers underneath the bassos, but that just led back here. But, so, so the initial. The fact that there was initially seemed to be only one way out of this fairly large area, that's... I don't like that. What I do like is how this has been opening up ever since I've started exploring. Uh, I've managed... I opened the gates of the police station. I opened uh, the sewer gates that connected here. Um, I haven't opened a way through here yet, but I'm sure I can probably open this gate later. Or something like that. I'm sure it'll connect that way. And the rope arrow has opened up a new set of connections that are laid on top of this. So, although everything everything in terms of the layout is all square blocks and a little uninteresting, as so far as city streets, and the initial connectivity should have I think should have offered a couple of ways to go rather than just the one. In my in uh, for my preference anyway. Uh, I do I do really like the way the whole city area is opening up. Oh, you're in a cage. No problem, right? Why do you have a pet spider? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Can I deal with it? Do I care if it's your pet? Bah. <laughs> the guard heard too. 
Why don't you release your spiders to deal with the intruder, huh? You should go back to sleep, sir. Sir. You should go back to sleep. Sleep. Thank you. Well, I just hope that spider can't no clip out of there, because... Yeah, they're little, they're harmless, but I just don't like them. Oh, what was your name? Ariel. I think I had a note about an Ariel, right? Rings a bell. Oh, no, that was an Alina. Candle in the window. Looking out over the mechanist complex there. And no doubt, a secret passage. To it. Oh, into some rich person's place. That was unexpected. Hey! Don't close the door on me. Ma'am. And maybe just close itself. Did you just say look out? Creepy doll. Why, ma'am? Why, ma'am, do you have a creepy doll in your room? I think you better sleep. What's your name? Isabel. Sleep there. Yeah, this one says look out as soon as I look as soon as I focus on it, this one giggles. Creepy dolls. Creepy dolls. Take that. Anyone else here? Loot, I'll take the loot. This door doesn't open. Why is the little creepy doll singing in my head? What is wrong with your house, man? What's wrong with your house? Maybe your book tell me. Oh my, what anguish! My little Malvina vanished three days ago, and I just can't find peace. Someone must have kidnapped her. It seems impossible, and yet that must be it. I knew we shouldn't have moved to this town. I had a bad feeling about it. I knew that something terrible would happen to us. Maxim wanted to apply to the city watch, but I didn't want him to. What if someone infected her? They say that the contaminated lose memory and even knowledge about their most beloved. Perhaps she is wandering around aimlessly in case she can't find her way back home. My poor Malvina, she's only a child, seven years old. What will happen to her? Builder, please help us. I pray that nothing evil has happened to my child. So, oh, well, that's Maxim. Oh, right, so that's uh, Isabel's diary. So if I find Malvina wandering around and manage to cure her, I need to bring her back here. And where is here? There's no other way in. The creepy doll place. The only way in is here. Right, the guards got over his fright. Let's go back to street level. Because uh, I don't remember where the way in was. Goodbye, spider. Right, we're on the east side here. Okay. Yeah, right here. So, above the dirty barrack, barrack I guess. So, I'll write Malvina there, because that's where we need to take her. And that spider noise can just go. What have we got? Here's de la Muse. The dancing barrack. Closed for private party. Will be open tomorrow as usual. God, they are to, uh... Yes. Complain. Someone should be complaining about that noise anyway. That's... There's a plague. You shouldn't be having an end of the world party. I guess what better time to have an end of the world party, huh? Alright. This way. 
of a soldier. You know this place? Yeah, I can still hear that spider. Just the open window. Given that you guys all have orders to kill on site, people who are out after curfew, I definitely feel a lot safer taking them all down. Samuel, rest there. Higgins and Sons, who was maintenance to station one. So is this the one that's the missing key? Was that maintenance station two? And there was another another Higgins went missing as well. So there's the one who was found dead. Oh, the worker for the Higgins, and then the note in the police station said another one, Nils, I think, was missing. It says Peacock, rooms for rent, but locked up safely. Public library, also locked up. Now can I get on top of these statues? Can. Can I get on top of here? I can do that too. But, uh, to no avail. It doesn't really get me anywhere. Oh, hello. There's that other soldier friend. I was afraid I'd hurt myself there, but no such a problem. Right, nothing else to climb on in this Minerva's place. It's fairly empty square. Back at Stonebridge. Right, so you are alternately facing left and right. That's actually good for me. Oh. And sometimes facing this way. I think. You don't, so you, good idea not to jump at nothing. Show yourself and report. How about. I don't. Yeah, master of the week comments tonight, aren't I? <laughs> All right, Stonebridge is clear. It's a nice fancy place. No, I don't think. I thought I saw some wooden beams. All right, that's why I can still hear the spider, because there's a candle in the window. I thought I saw some wooden beams in these streets that I maybe could have climbed, roped my way up to. But I guess not. <laughs> if I could get through that gate, then... Possibly from there I could jump across to the mechanist place. But I guess that'll come later, I don't need to go there just yet. Gold plate cigarettes. Peter Keegan and Co. Limited. Wines or spirits or something. Alright, what about these party goers, huh? They seem to be having altogether too much fun. The problem is, if they see me, they'll probably all run and panic. I don't really want that. And one of them's got a sword. Is that a ladder? No. Just texture patterns. So then there's no ladder on the side out of the road. Nope. It's over the bridge or nothing. Where are we? Here. Well, it takes us near, near the cathedral. Yeah, why not? Let's let's just go over the bridge. Let's <laughs> risk being seen. Oh, that's all right. They're all wasted. So we can go west, where there's more guards patrolling around a fountain. I can try this door. Yeah, gonna need a square, square lock pick. Guys, stop your damn music. 
Yeah, that way too drunk even doesn't care about me walking past on the street. Private property. Do not enter. Wow, you know, that sounds like an invitation. Oh, there is a armed guard wandering. All I want to do is shut down your music. I don't care about anything else here except, well, maybe loot, if you've got loot. Obviously, I care about loot. I mostly care about the music. Wow. Fancy dress party. Right, so we've got two armed people. Can I knock him out in the dark? What's hmm. Surabaya Johnny, sleep here. Right. The next. Next one is going to be this one here with the sword. Maybe drunk. Sleep all of you. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Can't turn it off. Alright, let's just move the bodies out of the way. Finish checking them for uh, loot. And I'll uh, write an angry letter to the newspaper about the noise. See if we can't get the city watch to do something about it. Yeah. All right. And only some of this is valuable. Those plates look valuable, but they're glued to the table. Apples. Well, I'll take apples. Uh, I could do with a few hit points. Can't take the bridal cheese. What a shame. Can't take the gold candlesticks. Can't take the plates. Well, I guess it makes sense they don't use the most valuable uh, tableware outside. Oh, these are actually doors. Do they open? No, the lock's going to need a square lock break, isn't it? Alright. Quiet! Alright, that's better. Phew. Right, we've got two guards, I think, wandering around the square. Oh, that's a nice fountain. Four meerkats. Oh, gargoyles. Upright gargoyles. What's the name of the place? Oak Square. Okay, so one of them walks in a circle. Oh, there's three guards. Okay. Is there enough darkness here? Just. There's another dark nook just here. Boarded up place over there. One guard runs down that passage. I'm just going to be coming back. Ominous red lanterns on that boarded up place. That's interesting. What is that place? Oh, that's the brothel. That explains the red lights. Alright, I guess I'm kind of off path here. Uh, that's going to take me back around the mechanists and get me here. I don't think I need to come this way yet. I might just leave this for later. Let's head towards the cathedral. Here we are. Here's a girl that we saw before, who we couldn't knock out, but now we're behind him. Very easy. Dark enough here. Lester can rest. I like this tower. It's just there with slightly buttressed footings. Oh, hello. I don't want to walk right into your face. That would be rude. Also, hazardous to my health. Alright. I'm going to cut the episode here. And I will see you for the next episode shortly. Thanks for watching.